I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. So question five over here it says determine the distance of y bar to the center of gravity of the homo homogeneous uh, rod. So yeah. And before we begin, right, we're looking for y bar and this is the equation for y bar. So we have two equations that allows us to solve for dA. And dA in this term we, we you know using dL because you know it's the distance of the rod, right? So which one should we use? Should we use in terms of dy or should we use in terms of dx? Right? Usually, since we have the times of y over here for nominator, right? I mean numerator, if we you know it would be convenient if we just write a y, y here and just solve for everything. Right? But if you look at a dx d sorry, this is squared. This is squared. Right? And, but if you look at over here what's what's in here, you know, dx dy, um, right, you have to write y uh, x in terms of y, so y equals two x over three, so y y divided by 2 to the power of 1 over 3, that's x. And you have to take the derivative of this crazy thing, you know, take the derivative of that and plug that into this equation over here, right? I mean, sure, by this point, you've already been through calculus 3, probably, right? Your integration should be, you know, pretty smooth. But um, it's better to do go with the easier one because you can save more time during the exam. If you have extra time, you can you know you can use this set again to test your answers, right? So I think in this case it's better to use the dy dx, right? Because y equals two x three, the derivative you know dy dx, that would just be, um, let's see, this would just be six x square, right? Just like that, and we can plug that into the calculator, I mean into the equation over there, right? So y times, and y in this term we can sub substitute, you know, it says y equals 2x3, so you know it's the integral of 2x3 times, and this is y, right, uh, times the square 1 over, I mean square root of 1 plus, uh, so what's square root of uh, 6x squared squared? So that's 36x to the power of 4, uh, dx, right, So, which is great because we have everything in terms of x, um, and down here, 1 plus 36x to the power of 4 dx and integral. So we're using, we're plugging x values to find y, y values, right, we're plugging to x to see, okay, where is y, uh, oh, it's right here, so, you know, what is the correspondence of x over here, right? So we have to put in the domain for x, so 0, 1, and zero and one, right? Uh, Plugging everything into a calculator or and solve it by hand, right? But um, the answer in the end, it should be um, 0 0.857 meters or, um, oh yeah, you can just leave it at that, like that. Or you can just uh, leave it like that because everything else here is meter in terms of meters. So yeah, uh, this is the question. It's zero point eight, so it's probably like somewhere here, right? Somewhere here. Yeah, hopefully this uh, this question was helpful, and um, good luck on your revisions. I will see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.